Well, good, y'all. Man, I turned that camera off and slid a little bit. <laughs> As you can see, I'm uh, turning the piss missile into a dirt bike today. This is the road coming out of my work. Uh, I'm gonna leave out all company info because my company has a strong social media policy and I like my job. But figured for today's topic, I'd show a little bit of what you go through when you daily one of these piss missiles crotch rocket, organ donor bikes, bullet bike, whatever you want to call it. So, uh, yeah, when it's warm, I usually daily my bike, man. Uh, I would daily it more of the year if I wasn't so far out here for work. Um, funny story, this, this is road, the video, a couple videos ago I did uh, where I laid my wife's bike down twice was on this road. <laughs> It was up here a ways though. Whoo! Oh, that sand hit different though. <laughs> uh, the first first day when I first started the shop, I brought my back out. It wasn't the first day. I'd been here a few days. I brought it out here and I caught that sand and almost went down. Man, that sand be hitting different. But uh, yeah. So I just wanted to go over like daily in a uh, sport bike and you know what it entails and stuff like the joys and. You know, the good and the bad. Oh yeah, I'm not letting Alba in front of me. He gonna dust me out. There we go, speed up a little bit. I don't want him to pass me. <laughs> it's my coworker, he's another haul truck driver. So, anyways, we'll get into it. Alright, I had to get past the company sign because I'm not doing that. And now the best feeling of the day. You know, nothing hits like this is come out of work and pin the bike. Yeah, buddy. Just out here having a good time. So, yeah. That's the good part about daily in the bike is it's fun, man. It makes the ride home enjoyable. You know what I mean? Um, traffic, no problem. In my car, man, I get stuck a lot behind traffic. I ain't getting stuck behind traffic with my bike unless I choose to. And that's church. Uh, as far as like, you know, um, now the one negative is I guess it was uh, raining back in Amarillo, is what my wife was saying. So it might be a bit, a bit moist when I get there. And uh, I really thought, I was, I was like, one day I bring my bike to work, it's gonna rain, you know? Texas spring, here, here you go with it. It is what it is, right? And actually, I think today's the first day of spring, ain't it? March 21st, you know? Um, I mean, by the time I post, it'll be tomorrow probably when I post this video, but you know, it's March 21st right now. Ain't that the first day? Or is it the 20th? I know the Equinox was the other day. Um, anyways, moving on. Yeah, daily in the bike. Man, it brings much joy to me. That being said, any type of weather hits and uh, I gotta wear that, man. That's just, <laughs> that's a, uh, just, I, I gotta take that on the chin, bro. It is what it is. Um, the other thing I like about daily in the bike is I found you can usually go a few miles an hour over the speed limit more than you could in a car. The cops seem to give a little bit more leeway to motorcycles, at least here in Texas. That's not always true, but a solid amount of the time it is. That being said, what I'm doing right now is usually what I would be doing in my car, so it's not like I'm like speed to speed. Maybe just my little come out of work and cool off real quick, kind of the victory lap, you know? So, yeah. Yeah, I, I love daily in a bike and I'm glad it's warming up again. It's still a little chilly in the mornings, but uh, I had some stuff going on this morning, so I came in a little late. So I brought the motorcycle. I mean, it's like 45 degrees in the morning, but uh, about a month ago it was like that. And I was like, yeah, I'll bring my bike, that ain't bad. <laughs> By the time I got here, man, I, my, my hands were just ice chunks. 
you can bundle up a lot of things. There's only so much you can do for the hands, yo. So, it just is what it is. See my nice little clutch cable there I put in. I want to do more of the cables that color, honestly. I, I love the way it looks. It don't match my bike. I don't care. I like it. Been a while since I've really been riding on the 636, so it's it's kind of cool to uh, ride on it. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I didn't point that out. I got the 636, not on the 10R today. I quit neglecting Gracie here, it's her name. She's a good bike, I've had her for two years, bought it new in 22, and uh, I have put some hard miles on her. I daily did, I daily did last winter, guys, all last winter. Save for a couple days, right? I took the car because I was, you know, reasons. Sometimes you can't get around the weather. Um, yeah, I daily did all last winter. I'm not doing that again this winter. Well, it's not winter anymore. Look, it's getting green. Ah, uh, it's getting my favorite season. I love spring and summer, y'all. It's my favorite. Um, yeah, yeah, so we're just chilling. I think, honestly, I didn't really want to talk about this. I just found that if I have a topic for my videos, it makes posting them up easier. Um, so I'm just going to talk a little bit now because I can. It's my channel. I'm just, you know, you learn certain things. I, I, I use a lot of the vid IQ videos because, I mean, I do this for fun. Don't get me wrong. But there's a little bit of business that goes into being a creator. And that's like marketing, you know, learning what gets washed. Because, yeah, doing it for fun for 10 people ain't nearly as fun as doing it for fun for, well, right now I'm sitting over 500 subscribers because... No, 600, because y'all rock, dude. Y'all y'all are so awesome, everyone new. Welcome, I'm glad you appreciate, you like my videos enough to go click that subscribe button. That's dope. I appreciate you and I'll keep trying to deliver quality content, you know? It actually, I feel all pressured now. I'm like, oh man, now, now they expect a lot out of me. So, I gotta deliver. And it was certain content that blew up, so I, I feel pressure in delivering that. Um, which I am about that, about like safe biking and not running from the cops anymore. Anymore. If, if my PO is listening, you hear that man, no more running. <laughs> uh, but people love that. They're tired of seeing the same old hooligan bike stuff, and that's cool because I don't really want to do it. I mean, I will do certain stuff like where back there I sped up a little bit, you know. I'm gonna enjoy my bike. I didn't buy a bullet bike to not go fast here and there. But as you see, there's nobody else on the road. I was only risking myself. Um, there's no cops. I know the area. I know the road real well. I, I do encourage that. I'm not against speeding. I'm not against moving and stuff. I'm against the stupid stuff. You know what I mean? But I kind of have built a name on that now, so I gotta deliver to it a little bit. But also just know I'm gonna mix it up. If you look back through my videos on my channel, there's a pretty good variety. Hell, I even have one video um, that still gets plays to this day. I did it my first, it was like my second video I ever posted, how to replace a serpentine belt on my Forester. <laughs> and you know, I mean if I want to do a mechanical video, I will. If I want I'm gonna do now it'll all be like bike related mostly, maybe every now and then a little car related, but you know I am a gearhead through and through, man. It's not just bikes for me. I mean I'm not gonna go driving my car on the channel, it's not it, but you know what I'm saying. We throw a little bit of everything in here. And I just I do just want to take a minute to thank everybody, man. Like the growth has been crazy. I never thought I'd see my channel grow a couple hundred subs in a week. You know, I mean, y'all have almost put me up more than halfway to actually being monetized on YouTube. And that's dope because that means I can buy more bike parts and cooler bikes and better cameras. And, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll invest a lot back in. And as soon as this uh, hits where I can... Uh, put my store on the channel I'm gonna do stickers you know I got a cry cut at home um, eventually I'll do other merch you know I'll do like I slowed down way more than I had to for that don't ask me I ain't been on this bike in a while man I'm not as comfortable on it anymore but uh yeah I'm gonna do you know I want to get in t-shirts all that 
I figure, and this is part of why I went from Reckless 636 to Reckless Lifestyle is A, I don't just ride a 636 anymore, and B, it's all about branding. I want some stuff that you guys are proud to wear, you know? Like, you know what I mean? I want to make dope shirts and dope stickers. I figure Reckless Lifestyle is pretty, pretty good by itself. You know, I'll do other things Reckless related because, uh, Anyone been around me for a while knows I got reckless cross my shoulder blades. It's what I go by. I know, oh, the irony that the channel called Reckless Lifestyle promotes safe riding. I know. I, I, I do see the irony there. I honestly didn't really plan on going that way. But it's honestly a positive, good message. And it's what works. And I'm with that, man. If, I've had so many positive comments in the last few days that, like... I can't ignore that. If I can make a positive impact on the community like that, I'm, I'm going to do it. You need to know that. I've done a lot of damage in my life, and I've been, you know, I'm always looking for ways to try to give back and do something positive. So, that's what it is. That's what we're going to do. It's not just going to be that, but there's going to be a lot of that sprinkled in here and a lot of, like, just good advice for motorcycles, stuff that I've learned, you know, anything I want to talk about. We won't do this. Man, even though I hate the windmills from the bottom of my soul, I do love looking out on the prairie and seeing them. Um, come down here from Wyoming. There's a lot in Wyoming too. It's super windy up there. So just maybe it's because it feels like home. That being said, anybody who knows about these windmills, knows why I hate them. I, I feel like they're a scam. That's just me. I can't prove that. I've actually worked on windmill sites. Not actually on the windmills, but I've been on the sites. The sites in Wyoming suck. They're tobacco free and you know, I'm tobacco free now, but I wasn't then. And they'd be like, you can't even chew or no, 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 no. But way to get off topic, reckless. Way to get off topic. So, oh. Uh, It's just a beautiful day. Ah, it's been so nice lately, guys. Like, this video might end up being a little bit longer. I'm gonna ramble a little bit because I'm just happy, man. I'm uh, I'm having a good time and it makes my feet go a little bit faster and uh, hopefully y'all don't mind. If you do, I uh, guess you can click off and go watch another video. It'd be a lot cooler if it was one of my videos, but if not, I understand. I. I'm a YouTube watcher myself and I jump around. But also sometimes I binge my favorite YouTubers. Just depends, you know, depends on the mood. <laughs>